Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Justina. In today's video, I'm going to share with you another family vlog, specifically a look into our faith and cultural traditions for Orthodox Easter, or Pascha. For Orthodox Christians, Pascha is the most important day of the entire year. It's the Feast of Feasts, the holiest of holy days, the day that Christ ascended into Hades, shattered its gates, and annihilated hell. So for Orthodox Christians, even Orthodox Christian children, Easter has nothing to do with the Easter Bunny and everything to do with the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We don't even say Happy Easter to each other. Instead, we greet each other with the Paschal greeting in all different languages from around the world. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. Christos vos crece. Boisnu vos crece. Christos anesti. Alitos anesti. Christos enviat. Adevrat enviat. Almasikam. Akakam. Pascha is the most joy-filled, auspicious, and wonderful day of the entire year. What also makes Pascha so incredible for Orthodox Christians is that we have been preparing for this day for our entire lives, but we've been preparing for Pascha for almost 50 days prior to its date. So when Pascha finally comes and Christ rises from the dead, we are filled with such incredible joy, thanksgiving, and relief because all of our hard work during our Lenten journey has finally come to fruition. We are prepared to greet the resurrected Christ just as if we are the myrrh-bearing women coming to his tomb and finding the tomb empty. But before we make it to Pascha, we have to make it through Holy Week. So with all that said, come along with me as our family travels from our home in the Washington DC area to my hometown in Northeastern Pennsylvania and my home parish, St. John the Baptist Russian Orthodox Cathedral in Mayfield, Pennsylvania. So it's about 9.30 on Friday, April 26th, and we are in the car on the DC Beltway heading to Pennsylvania. It will take between four and five hours to get there, depending on how many times we have to stop. But I was up late last night packing, repacking, I should say, because it is rainy. It's gonna rain all weekend, and it's rather cold for this time of year. So we have to be prepared, even at nighttime, it's gonna be like 20 degrees up there. Now we are on the road. Things are going well so far, and I'll check it later. So we have just finished Matins for Good Friday 
and it's I guess you could say it's sort of like the funeral for Christ. Usually we process outside of the church with the Plashenitsa, which is a very large, almost life-sized icon of Christ's body. Unfortunately, we didn't get to process outside because of the rain. It is raining so hard. It was like torrentially downpouring. And in fact, the weather conditions are like tornado watch. So there's a lot going on with the weather. Well, it is Saturday morning, Holy Saturday, and it's snowing. So, April 27th, snowing. <laughs> I think we did bring our, our winter coats, but this is kind of crazy. My brother and his boys are out back burning the pussy willows and palms from last year. You know, men love fire. <laughs> it's snowing out there. Still snowing. So these are the kulichi that I made. So kulichi is kind of like a Russian panettone and uh, we eat it traditionally for Easter. There's dried fruit in here, so I put dried apricots and also dried currants. I soaked them in rum for several hours. This one I made in a coffee can. That's the traditional way to do it, but I only have one like old style coffee can. And this one I made in a panettone uh, mold. What I'm going to be doing now is using confectioner's sugar and some fresh lemon juice to make the glaze on the top. And we'll put this in our basket and they will be blessed tomorrow. So it's about 10.30 at night and I'm just getting ready to head to church. At 11.30 is nocturnes and then at midnight is Paschal Resurrection Matins. I'm really excited. This is like the most important day of the year for Orthodox Christians around the world. My mom and my brother are gonna come pick me up at 11 and then I'll take you with me a little bit for tonight. Hopefully the weather will stay clear so we can have our procession at midnight. If you're familiar with Orthodoxy or if you're Orthodox yourself, you might be thinking, oh, well, why aren't they having a divine liturgy tonight as well? Because a lot of Orthodox churches and their local traditions go straight through. So we're talking about like 11.30 till three o'clock in the morning. What our local tradition is, is to have nocturnes at 11.30, resurrection matins, and then we come home at like 1.30, and then we come back to church in the morning. So Pascha, Easter Sunday morning at nine o'clock for the Royal Hours and Divine Liturgy. So I'll take you with us tomorrow morning as well. But that's what's going on here. Bring you along and I hope you enjoy it. Christ is risen and thou art overthrown. Christ 
Christ is risen and the demons are fallen. Christ is risen and the angels rejoice. Christ is risen and life reigneth. Christ is risen, not one dead remains in the grave. For Christ, being risen from the dead, is become the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. To him be glory and dominion unto the ages of ages. Amen. So today is Monday, April 29th, Bright Monday. We had a very rainy Pascha, but very joyous as well. And right now we're getting ready to head back to church for Divine Liturgy for Bright Monday. So for Orthodox Christians, the week after Pascha or Easter is called Bright Week. So it's a time of joy, it's a time of uh, festivities, and just further commemorating the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So we are going to church for Divine 
Divine Liturgy, and today is the children's procession, so all of the children will be carrying icons around the church, so we'll take you along with that. Then we're going to go and visit my grandmother, and then we're going to head back to our home. Suppose that you to be the gardener said unto him, Sir, if thou hast bored him hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said unto her, Mary. She turned herself and said unto him, Rabone, which is to say, Master. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already, and please consider sharing this video with a friend. I'm so glad you came along with me as I shared with you our very special family and faith traditions for Orthodox Easter. Also, if you have any questions about our traditions or about this video, please leave them in the comments box below and I will do my best to answer them. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Christos vos crece, voisin vos crece. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen.